Hello and welcome, I'm Ruben and this is this week's sample cast. It's a reasonably short, sharp show this week. There's no big review, but we do have an interview with the fantastic Benjamin Squires, who's recently racked up a million YouTube views on his cover for the uh, Spider-Man theme. So look forward to that. That's in the sample cast podcast, which you can get at all major podcast outlets. And in the meantime, let's get on with the news. Have you ever wanted to play a tune by using the sounds of a floppy disk drive? No? Well, me neither. But that hasn't stopped Sample So releasing this new library which is called Floppytron. It's stuffed full of recordings of authentic retro disk drive noises. It runs in the full version of Contact 5.6.8 and above and although I'm uh, taking the piss it is actually a cool little library. There's 100 really varied presets here and the BeatSync engine can sync the rhythmic samples to your door's tempo. Throw in a whole bundle of effects and step sequences and you might be surprised at how versatile this little library can be. You can create everything from hard EDM bass lines to soundscapes, so I definitely recommend having a look at the Sample So website. Next up, Vintage Chords by Loops de la Creme. Now, back in the day I was a massive raver, so I couldn't not include Vintage Chords. This includes classic keyboard sampler sounds from the 1970s onwards, and it really looks such fun to play. It runs in the full version of Contact 5.3 and above. It's 1.6 gigabytes in size, and you can combine 60 different voices here to create your own chords or use one of the 36 presets on board. Now these chords really brought me back to the sampled kind of house and rave keyboard lines of my youth, especially using the chord memory function which maps a user definable chord across the whole keyboard. It's really fun stuff, check it out at the Loops de la Creme website. Not having heard of this next company before, I went into this library completely blind, but I have to say I was pretty much blown away by the demos. This is Solo Opera from Organic Samples. This female soprano soloist is captured in a three microphone array with true legato sampling. This library runs in the full version of Contact 5.5.1 and above and is 4.5 gigabytes in size. Now as well as the solo voice here, you've got an interesting looking tension builder patch for creating clusters. Sadly there's no walkthrough video online yet so I'll be interested to see how this library progresses and how easy it is to program and incorporate into my projects. They're a fledgling company so do give organic samples some support by checking this out. Just in case you don't have enough vintage Rhodes instruments in your arsenal, here's a new one from Sonic Couture, it's the Canterbury Suitcase. They've recorded here three different signal paths. You've got a line out, a close mic speaker cabinet, and natural room ambience as well. Uncompressed, this is 16 gigabytes in size, runs in contact player 5.6.8 and above, and they've sampled up to 25 velocity layers here with the engine containing controls for reverb, velocity mapping, key and pedal noises, plus harmonic voicing options too. Have a look at the Sonic Couture website for details. It's a pretty big week for bargains. We'll kick off with this week's brand new deal from Audio Plugin Deals. It's a huge one and it includes eight of Audio Imperia's best sound design and cinematic packs for the full version of Contact. So these have been combined all into one bundle and these packs normally retail for an average of around $50 each. They're over 12 gigabytes in size when you total them all up. For the next couple of weeks, they're 78% off at just $99. Do click the link in the show notes to check them out. Stacker by Sample Magic next and VST Buzz keep giving us the good stuff with this new percussion plugin. I hadn't investigated it fully before this deal came out, but after looking into it in more detail, I have to say I'm sold. It is a sophisticated drum designer where you can layer sounds and surgically edit them to create powerful hits, or you can just head over to the 1200 presets if you're feeling lazy. It can also be used to create sound design tones and atmospheric effects, really versatile I think. Stacker has garnered some impressive reviews from audio media outlets and I wouldn't hesitate in recommending it. It's currently 70% off at €29.99. Euros. Do click the link in the description for details. We'll finish up with a couple of quick mentions. First up, the summer sale by The Unfinished. 
Now there's loads of quality synth presets on the unfinished website. I definitely urge you to have a look. Whatever synth you're using, you're likely to find something to tickle your oscillators here. There's up to 50% off at theunfinished.co.uk and don't forget to use the code FABORAMA. Lastly, do check out the bundles page at Plugin Boutique. They've got loads of awesome bundles starting at about 50% off and going into even deeper discounts. Click the link in the show notes for details. It's time for this week's Composer Demo and please join me in welcoming composer Benjamin Squires to this week's sample cast. He came to my attention through his awesome mock-ups of famous movie scores and his most recent one has racked up over a million views on YouTube. It takes the original 1960s Spider-Man theme tune Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider can and gives it an updated orchestral twist. And to be honest, I just love it, along with a million other people on YouTube. On this week's Samplecast podcast, Benjamin talks us through the creation process, exactly which sample libraries he used, and his mixing techniques as well. Download the podcast from iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, Android, and all the usual podcast platforms to hear the full interview. Kicking off this week's freebies are sample tracks who must be feeling very generous at the moment as they've added new forms to their online freebie selection. It's a whole bunch of Transformers style sound effects, it's over 300 megabytes in size and you can find it right there on the sample tracks site. The link in the show notes goes straight to the freebies page and you can also still find their free pack sign dust there as well. Do check them out. The guys over at Contact Hub have been promising a fully fledged instrument based on this granulation engine for a while now, but in the meantime you can download the engine itself for free, which runs in Contact. It doesn't come with any sample content, but you can easily drag in your own samples to the Contact Mapping window and go crazy with the glitchy granulation effects. You must be logged into the Contact Hub website to get the freebie, but registration is super simple, so I'd recommend you head over there and give it a go. Lastly, Violation from Global Soundspace. Now, I was reminded of this library recently when Global Soundspace released a version 2, which is a paid version of the library with extra effects and a waveform view and a few other bells and whistles. That sells for €15, but if you're feeling a bit skint, you can actually get all the same content with version 1.1 for absolutely free. This contact library contains all the noises of abused string instruments, including patches with pitch percussion, there's string effects, you've got scrapes and whispers as well. Do check it out at the Global Sound Space website, you've really got nothing to lose. This week's developer update is a biggie, it's SoundIron's Ambius Prime. Now SoundIron here have combined several of their older Ambius Atmosphere series into a brand new instrument, This one contains all the patches from Ambius's 1 and 2, plus a thousand new sound sources. As a bonus, it now runs in the free contact player 5.6.8 and above, and is over 12 gigabytes uncompressed in size. There are 100 master presets with three NKI banks. These initial presets can then be manipulated with the onboard XY pad. You've got effects and modulations panels as well. There's also 119 custom convolution impulse responses, and these can really mutate the sounds into some crazy ways. I actually wrote a demo for one of the older Ambius packs back in the day, and at the time I do remember having a really fun time with the library. So now this package has been rewritten and expanded, I can't wait to delve into the new sounds and the interface. Thanks so much for watching this week's Samplecast show. If you're interested in the Composer interview or you want to hear any of these sample libraries in action, do head over to the Extended Podcast. You can get it on iTunes or pretty much anywhere where you can find podcasts. And I will see you again next week. Bye-bye now.